Trying to analyse what's gone wrong with the British film industry is just like stepping into a minefield. The really best British films were made with American money. But the one thing we did actually have going for us is that our special effects technicians are among the finest in the world. That's one of the reasons why prestigious films like Star Wars, Superman and The Empire Strike Back were made here in this country. The problem has been that the recession and a lack of confidence by investors and a shortage of cash have meant that fewer films are being made either here or anywhere else in the world. And that has meant that our special effects technicians and indeed the entire British film industry are in very serious trouble. Yet in spite of that success, our special effects industry is under a serious threat. In the far from glamorous setting of a muddy industrial estate in Buckinghamshire lies a company which contains some of our very best technicians. Arkadon was set up recently to try and combat a huge growth in the American special effects industry. This tiny organization lacks money for capital investment. Some of their equipment is old-fashioned, even though they're developing their own effects with laser technology. And in spite of their skill and initiative, and indeed the Oscars Brian Johnson won for Alien and the Empire Strikes Back, Brian, he and other special effects men face an uncertain um, future. It's, it's a, sort of got to a crossroads at the moment. There are a lot of uh, very good films which are being made over here. A lot of them are have a special effects content which is, is not made over here, which goes, uh, is made back in California. And I think uh, one of the problems is that uh, very little development is, is being done in, the, in sort of motion control camera equipment and that sort of thing. And, and nothing is done for the youngsters coming into the industry. Uh, if we are complacently British in our attitude towards uh, um, special effects, then, then we will sort of go downhill unless we develop the, technique, the sort of techniques which are being developed in America at the moment. Johnson and our other technicians have the imagination to hang on to their very specialist art. But they don't have the money to buy the very latest equipment. And they're not getting any interest from British investors. Some American money to develop computer-driven and laser effects has come to them largely because of their reputation. But this is a mere flash in the pan in comparison with the millions of dollars being invested in new equipment in America. That will eventually achieve far more sophisticated effects and at a lower cost. It's frustrating for men who work here to know that what they achieve with models of plaster and foam could be outdated because they simply lack the cash to buy themselves new machines. John Sorison is only 25. He built some of the models and spaceships for Flash Gordon and Alien, but finds himself in the middle of a declining industry. Well, I don't see much of a future, uh, really, uh, in as much as uh, we, um, we don't have the investment in this country. And uh, this is very worrying, uh, both to me and my uh, younger associates who joined the industry along with me, um, who've now left, in fact, They've gone on to other areas uh, in as much as um, they were very worried about the futures, they weren't being fulfilled, uh, and it's a symptom of the whole, the whole UK. It's, it's the way things are here now. Uh, there's, there's no investment, there's no oomph, uh, there's, there's simply, um, simply no hope. So, so they leave. It's not that films aren't being made in Britain. We have a surplus of large sound studios like this one at Elstree. And because we have this space available, the next in the Star Wars series is being made here by American producers. But due to the sensitivity of our subject, we weren't allowed on the set. Only one production company would help us, the team making Dark Crystal, a $38 million space fantasy with animated characters created by the men who built the Muppets. Again, the skill is coming from British special effects technicians. But most of the sophisticated film optical work, using the very latest technology, 
and all the resources of American investment will end up in California. The producer is an American, Gary Kurtz. He made his name with American graffiti and his fortune with Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back. He and other producers who've come here have not only taken advantage of our special effects industry, they've been attracted by cheaper costs in labor and materials. The American studios are full up with television productions and we'd be kidding ourselves to believe that it's simply our skill alone. Originally, I came here to investigate the availability of stage space uh, and looked all over Europe and realized that uh, stage availability was better here than even than in Hollywood, mainly because television had taken up so much of the space in Hollywood that getting six or seven large sound stages in one place was difficult. The problem with special effects more than anything is that when you go for several years without needing the technicians, they either retire or drift off into other work. Now, as the Star Wars impact starts to wear off and a better range of pictures is being made, need for optical effects and uh, miniatures may be diminishing for a while. 